Having limited personnel and a vast amount of area to cover, we need to adopt the current technologies in order to function more effectively. With 60% of Sarawak under forest cover, the Forest Department of Sarawak has leveraged on the use of technology in conforming to sustainable forest management practices forming part of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The idea of COMOS is to address the issue of illegal logging and to ensure compliance to the SFM practices through the use of systematic monitoring and surveillance of our totally protected area and permanent forest estate. Then it is possible to share the information and resources among state enforcement agencies and the ministries, where performance matrix and visualization can be updated. The continuous monitoring and surveillance was initiated in 2019 as a means to combat illegal logging and ensure compliance to sustainable logging practices by integrating satellite-based monitoring, aerial surveillance and web-based data dissemination, to cater for tactical planning of the field operations and also as a management tool for monitoring the outcome of the intervention activities. COMOs consist of a few components. Initially we start with the satellite-based monitoring, Satellite covers a large area and from their clearing sites can be detected. Satellite images are processed weekly. The information will then be generated and given for aerial surveillance which focuses on a particular area detected by satellite to verify that the activities are still ongoing. Once all the tactical information obtained, we will send a team, this is where they will do the raiding. Usually in aerial raids, we will use three to four helicopters to go to the sites. Over the months we have done analysis, we categorize the type of offenses by management offense or totally illegal. The analysis also covers type of land use to the offense is in timber license, forest plantation, or state land. Since we started in 2014, it can be seen to be very effective with decreasing number of cases, with such modularity, COMOs could be adapted for various field of applications that would serve the nation's need to be sustainable as well as contributes to its development. Owing to its significant success, it was extended to monitor the planting progress as well as the occurrence of pest and disease in industrial tree plantations in Sarawak. Successful trials were also seen for wildfire management, including pre-fire susceptibility sites, hotspots and post-fire damage assessment and restoration efforts. This approach could be further extended with early warning system for the commodities as well as food crops, and be scaled down for use commercially to cover smaller areas complementing other disruptive technologies. Hyperspectral sensing technology also capable of distinctively mapping the composition, health and habitat of coral reef. The use of this advanced technology has also been extended into soil study and application. Soil type 1 is silty clay loam type, has a high soil moisture content, less compression. Soil type 2 is a type of silty clay loam that has a low soil moisture content and high compression. Soil type 3 is loamy sand type, has low soil moisture content and high compression. Therefore the technology application can be extended to soil assessment for agricultural purposes. In an online briefing with Ms. Arisu Komoto from Consular Office of Japan in Kota Kinabalu, she was impressed with it. She was amazed with the system and all of the advanced technologies used. Moving on to extend our capacity, every time the aircraft is flown, the information is available for HQ level. So top management can be involved during operations. And this will cover the whole state. In a briefing with the Premier of Sarawak, he stated that he is in support of the initiative in order to further enhance the surveillance on our valuable forest. He added that it has shown its effectiveness and he believed that this will be reliable in protecting Sarawak's green landscape. Safeguarding our national treasure and ensuring food security for the nation.